Check her out, folks. We got our order in from DirtyLife.ca. I'm oh, totally excited to check out these boxes. This is awesome. Well, as you can see, it says RJWC, so I think you guys have a good idea as to what's inside. But this is my first peek at it. So, let's have you guys look at it at the same time as me, eh? Okay? Collector's right with the other header. Yeah, right on. Wow, check out those welds. These welds. That's pretty quality. And this stuff is thick. Wow, man, that is some beefy pipe. That's gonna last. Quality pipe right there. Holy oh, moly, that's heavy. Thick tube and steel, good stuff. I think that's all we got in here, alright. Beautiful. We'll get that out of the way, and I think the next one is going to have the real bling, eh, boys? So I'm going to get the black header wrap for these bad boys here, and uh, yeah, should make these cans pop real nice. Huge thanks to the guys at Dirty Light for uh, getting it out the door and getting it here quick, making it easy. Website that's easy to manipulate. So check them out. Dirtylife.ca. Dun, dun. Come on in close here and let's get a close up shot. This is going to be cool. Yeah, look at all the bubble wrap. I want to make sure she's protected well, eh? Uh, why wouldn't you? Look at this. Woo! Two duels, boys. Wow. Look at that. Again, the welds are just awesome. Wow. That is solid. That's a solid piece, boys. Aluminum tips. That's sick. That is awesome. So, we'll have these boys poking out the rear of the system here soon. Yeah, that's just that's phenomenal. Awesome job on the welds. I mean, that's just great. Very excited to get these on the bike and uh, see what kind of performance enhancing characteristics they deliver. This is going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah, I guess the next time you boys uh, see this, we're going to be uh, getting around the bike. What do we got here? Just some fasteners and such? Yep. Indeed. Everything included, right? So that's awesome. Hopefully it's, uh, I'm sure it will be an easy install. And uh, I spy with my eye, I think a deck over two. We got one at least. Under the fender she goes, right on. Quality made product for sure. This is awesome. Super excited. Can't wait to get it on. You guys will be able to see firsthand what we think of it. Awesome, so we'll talk to you guys soon. We'll get her in the shop. We'll start getting her ripped apart and get her on. And until then, cheers, ATV, signing out. First thing you do when you receive yourself a fancy set of exhaust like this, well, we like to tear it apart. <laughs> and we're gonna send some pieces out for powder coating get these tips done in black and uh, should kind of make the pipes pop I think but oh, my god they got this ring on there nice and tight peeled off the old uh, foot pegs and we got the exhaust tips and that's going to be our first uh, powder coat order um, we do want to get the bumpers done but uh, buddy doesn't have his uh, booth set up yet so it's what can fit in the oven right now and those will definitely fit in the oven so eventually yeah we'll get the bumpers done um, but yeah first things first we'll get them off now while we can and uh, yeah next time you see them they'll be black cheers she works there she's made of fiberglass this is our first crack at uh, wrapping anything we're both newbies but uh, like uh, any good tutorial it's pretty easy to find the instructions on YouTube.
YouTube's great, isn't it? You know they have eight ATV videos on YouTube. Did you know that? Yeah, well, they do. They do. Yeah. They got all over the good, place. Pretty good content, especially originating yeah. out of Ontario. I must yeah. say. Yeah, for sure. All those guys are really working hard to bring us quite the uh, exhilarating experience. Like that. So we're going to wet this up a little bit, to make it pliable. How long do you have to stretch a little bit? Ah, oh, I think. Okay. Well, you see, now some lads actually soaked it right up. Threw the whole thing in. Is that what they're saying? No, is that what you Some said? people did. They dropped it right into a bucket. Other people said you just moisten it to the point where you, you know. And so not soak wrap in water, making the material more pliable. So moisten wrap means we probably need a bowl of water that you can just right. kind of scoop out with your hands. I've your already fingers. seen this done by the pros. I'm going to use their technique. Moisten wrap. I'm not going to you know, overdo it. Yep. I'm not going to overdo it. And they even suggest maybe having a spray bottle a long hand with some water mm -hmm. just to keep moistening it as you go because you don't want to over drench it, I guess. The idea is to work it around a bit and just make it pliable. That's the idea, just get it a little bit lubed up. A little bit of lube goes a, a long lube. way. <laughs> yeah, we knew that. It's it gets us started, anyways, right? We're going to start with a nice straight piece here. Cut our teeth on that, I think. So, scissors would have been good. I'm just gonna set that there. Oh yeah, look at that. Already, That's definitely what you don't want on your hands. So, Richard, there's there's tips and tricks, I guess, to um, how to approach it. You can measure by using the old two inch, two inch, two inch, two inch. Oh yes. And then you can kind of do it like that. Some guys will take what it takes for one wrap. They'll count it out, and they'll just do their spacing like so, count off the wraps, and then cut it. However, we're newbies. We don't want to make that mistake. We don't want to make that mistake. No. We don't want to run out. We don't want any of that jargon. So if I recall, we're going to fold in this corner. We're going to fold under, opposite way. You don't want to kind of start to wrap that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure that it is kind of angled this way. That's right. And you're really going to be able to get it tight. Yeah, and you really only want to off about a quarter of an inch. Overlap? In between quarter of an inch and half an inch is what the guys are recommending. I saw that, I just kind of thought that the quarter of an inch just looked better in the end. You won't see it when it's covered in mud. True. Take one of these bad boys and find out how they work. I thought these gave a nice little finish rather than using like a a pipe clamp or something of that nature. Again, we've never used them, so let's just get an idea how they're going to pan out. Obviously, we could use some pliers here, right? Feels pretty tight. I don't know that you can get her much tighter than that. All they were really doing. Pulling it on itself. Finishing it off, kind of like that. You got a set of channel locks because if you can't, if you do, you can go right here and really crimp that bitch over. That'll hold it in place for us for now, and we can come back and do our finishing touches. But I think that's going to get us started, so we don't have to worry about it. Now I can just spin the pipe. If you want to yeah, pull? Yeah. Can you see the sweat, boys? Yeah, we uh, we saved you guys all that uh, boring stuff. Well, me and Richard were sweating it out, so we tried to wrap her as tight as we can. And uh, you know, I didn't get enough of these stainless steel clamps. Plus, you know, I'm not sure I like how tight they really get. So I think we're going to replace those with some pipe clamps and just for uh, peace of mind. But we do got her wrapped. Turned out all right, I think, pretty good. So yeah, right on. We'll get her slapped in the bike next time, boys, and. Uh, 
Everybody gets to hear what she sounds like. I can't wait. Eh? That was a fun job. Was that a fun job? That was hilarious. No, it sucked. Let's do it again. It sucked. Let's We're... unwrap it all and do it again. We're not into wrapping pipes, boys. It's just not up our alley, eh? It is difficult. Or arthritis is... Ah. Yeah. Us old guys. Till next time, keep her taut. <laughs> Well, as you can see, boys, I've uh, we've dove into her. We got the Oshi out of there. Rear diff is out of there. Man, what a pain in the ass! I had to take the rear rack off to remove the bumper, to remove the Yoshi. A lot of work just to slap on a new exhaust. I'm not going to lie, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. So yeah, that rear diff is cooked. We're going to get that back to uh, Bay Marine. And the boys get me one ordered up. Actually, I believe it's already on order. And we'll get her shipped out to Jared at Mud Wheels and uh, get her fixed up because we got a big ride coming in Dungannon here. Uh, really looking forward to the mud bogs there. Um, yeah, so still got to pull the side plastics, pull the plastics up underneath just to give yourself better room to get into the headers and. Uh, Everything's over here exhaust wise. I gotta run and grab some clamps. As you can see with the zip ties, we ran out of clamps. Everything's holding together though um, until I can get the clamps. Uh, exhaust tips are out to be powder coated. We took those off, got them sent away along with uh, the foot pegs there, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to go get more uh, heat tape. I want to cover the whole back of that tank, I do. I have seen pictures and I do not, you know, I know a lot of guys, obviously if it's running that hot it's due to improper tuning and stuff like that, so um, we're not planning on repeating anybody else's mistakes like that, but uh, nevertheless, we'll uh, protect it anyways, right? I'd like to cover this whole bulging end here, so, um, yeah. I don't think we're going to have to move that. We already moved that when we put the Yoshi on. So, uh, what's it? Voltage, voltage regulator, I believe. Um, and I think it's going to be all right. Actually, I kind of like it better there. Maybe it'll receive, and it's got this aluminum plate on the back side, less heat from the two duels coming out this way. We'll see. If we have to put her back to the factory mounting location, we will. Otherwise, I kind of like it right where it is. So, we'll see how that plays out. Ugh, I've got some junk there to clean, I can see. Oh, the next phase, boys. We've got the exhaust shield, and let me tell you, that was a pain in the ass. Putting it back in is going to be even more fun because they've got one fished way up in here that was kind of holding her up. And, uh, yeah, we got her out. Took some time. Again, quarter turn, quarter turn. And you can only get a wrench in there, right? So, but, um, yeah, the real pain in the ass is that... Uh, trying to get it back in there is going to be a real headache so we've got her opened up we've got our exhaust pipes all showing so next part is to get in there and unbolt those headers and uh, see if we can't get it out get it ready all right we'll be back so we got the two headers in place and my god that was an absolute pain in the ass to get into that header bolt there you guys could see her down in there you gotta use the open end of the wrench and you gotta keep flipping it back and forth. You go one way, you go the other way, then you flip the wrench around, use the box end, and repeat the process three part. Just brutal. But I think I got them down there as snug as they can be. They've stopped moving into the cylinder, so I think they're uh, up against the uh, gasket or bushing, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna snug this up. I think we're getting, we're getting close. And on this guy here, on this side, because of the girth of the pipe is now uh, definitely wider and allow more airflow, it made it pretty darn tight. You guys can see that header bolt there uh, to get to that guy. So again, you got the two open end and you're coming through this side and you don't get much of a turn. Let me tell you, she's taken a long time to get those seated up there nice, but it is done. So we'll move forward to the next step. God, I don't want to do that again. So yeah, we're close to getting the exhaust buttoned up. Well, we ain't taking any chances, boys. There they are. We got the powder coated tips on them. Looks pretty kick ass. Thanks to my brother's buddy Brian. But, uh, so yeah, I got some more heat tape. 
RJ just included this little tiny square and uh, both duals run right across the back of the tank so I'm gonna recommend you grab yourself more heat tape boys not only that but right here where the header comes across we've added a nice chunk in here to protect this rubber boot on the CVT and also the intake there I'm gonna add more right here just to be safe because uh, jumping those headers travel close well, that's it we're gonna get this exhaust on here we'll get the tuner changed and uh, we got our new numbers in from uh, Jeff Ross from the bomb racing and uh, pump them in and hopefully we get to hear what this thing sounds like today so uh, yeah boys we'll get back to you I don't know if you guys can see this as well as we can but by the no that makes it worse look at that this is where the diff was left sitting on its side after I drained it and uh, we soaked up the little puddle and that is just straight ass metal and we're talking like chunks of it too there's your can-am diff boys you best get her out of your bike and get her shipped off to mud and wheels or you're gonna be doing the same <laughs> exhaust is on there finally are so these fucking idiots aware of that? yes they're well aware of that. <laughs> Oh, you heard it from the old timer right there. They didn't build things like that in your day, did they? No, they didn't. To just fall apart on you, eh? They last forever. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so she's all buttoned up. we got to fire it up, change the tune on it, and uh, go over all the exhaust clamps, tighten them up. We've got the rack back on there. Everything's mounted. Nice powder-coated tips, ready to go. What a pain in the ass, boys, but it is done. So, yeah. We're going to fire this thing up here in a few minutes, see what she sounds like. Check the old rad cap. All right, boys, we're going to fire it up here. I did for two seconds just to get the tune right, but uh, here it is. <coughs> the dirty life, boys. We're going to fire it up and let you guys listen. RJWC stainless system duels pretty sweet I got a rattle here I'm gonna have to cut back this heat shield because she's resting right there it was chafing on the uh, the wrap so I put another clamp there to stop it but I don't like that rattling I ain't dealing with that so I'll figure that one out here in a minute we'll get back to you boys that's it one more rev tech eh? one more rev That's a little more aggressive. 